tubes into Mississippi. This area of storms has to be watched by late in the afternoon. A new batch apparently develops according to this model. There's a little bit of an upper level disturbance rolling out of that warm sector, igniting, igniting thunderstorms over Alabama that could be severe. That has to be watched. And Jordan, one of the biggest aspects of all this is that the worst of it may come after dark through Mississippi and Alabama yet again, going into Georgia in the very early hours of tomorrow morning. This is a long day ahead, and I think the worst of it may indeed come, unfortunately, after dark. Yeah, since it's an overnight, that is, of course, a very high concern. Thanks, Dr. Postel. So you and your family need to make sure you're weather aware, not just today, but like Dr. Postel said, into tonight as well. Know your severe weather plan. Or where are you going to be if you need to take shelter when a tornado or if a tornado threatens your area? If you're away from your TV and you can't watch or hear about an alert, make sure you got your smartphone with you for these alerts. In fact, meteorologist Paul Goodlow shows us how they work specifically. We're not always by our TVs and radios when severe weather strikes, but chances are we do have our mobile phones with us. The emergency alert features found on most smartphones can be a lifesaver during severe weather. Here's how to make sure yours are enabled. On the iPhone, simply go to settings, click notifications, and scroll down to the bottom. Make sure the emergency alerts and public safety alerts are toggled to the green on position. For many Android phones, look in your message settings for the word alerts, and you can choose which ones you want to enable from there. Some alerts can be in up locations on Android phones, so just search for the words emergency alerts. This is great. These smartphone alerts will I need to know this. How you guys doing out there? Check it out. Be alerted. Be aware. Be awake. Well, we have teams spread out all across where we're going to see these storms firing up. Let's go ahead and take a, uh, get an update from meteorologist Tevin Wooten, who is outside in the uh, Arkansas area right now. Tevin, and of course, you're part of the state. That eastern zone has been... Tornado Con 7. Be some thunderstorms rolling through Little Rock very soon, if not already. Here we go, guys. Yeah, Jordan, we've already had sort of round one, and this was really the appetizers that moved through uh, late last night and into the early morning hours. And just to show you how already sort of set the atmosphere was, a couple of these severe thunderstorm warnings that we saw in Drew and Lincoln and also the Shea counties and near the Dumas area in southeastern Arkansas, those prompted tornado warm storms. So that is how quickly this can happen. You don't need a lot of daytime in an atmospheric setup like this. So yes, while we do have some cape or the instability, a lot of the ingredients are already at play. Now, if you do start to see a break in the clouds, where I think we do have overcast skies for much of the day, but if you get a break in the clouds, if you see blue sky, if you see sunshine, that will add more to an already potent equation in terms of what we're seeing right now.